Hey everyone and welcome to Fallout 3. Evening. Let's play part 4 where I want to know what that guy is but first let's... Good evening. A my my. Just when I'd all but given up hope. My dear girl. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you? Well... You are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. It does. I kind of just wanted to start from, from the start and then work my way up into the tavern, but sure, I guess this guy's just taking my attention for no reason. I find myself enthralled. Mm, yes, yes. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests and those interests view this town this megaton as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape you have no connections here no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate you could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map you're disgusting you're a sick man but i want to know more so i can't say that because then the conversation is over, and I want to know more. No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you. At a secure location. Easy money, my friend. If it was that easy, you would actually do it yourself. But you need a scapegoat to point at so it wasn't you. You don't have a deal at any point. Um. Hmm. 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 Sims want me, wants me to disarm the bomb. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. Well, I like him. I'm not going to change any minds at all. I'm going to defuse this bomb. I advise you against that particular course of action. If you interfere with my employer's wishes, you will find he can be quite oh, disagreeable. Yeah, I can be too. You're going to leave now. Oh, I see. I didn't realize Megaton had any guardian beyond its intrepid sheriff. Very well, then. I'll take my leave, as you suggested. Exactly, or I will use this baseball bet on your head. We're well, not leaving, I see. What does that mean? Why aren't you leaving, eh? Back again, hmm? Perhaps you've reconsidered my offer. No. Why aren't you gone yet? Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. You really are a crazy person, though. Right, from the start. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Sure am. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? I am always interested. A job usually means I get paid. Yeah, I need some details on this. Hey, you're pretty smart for a wastelander. I need you to deliver a message to my family. They live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. I'll tell you more if you agree. Please, I could really use your help. Okay, so your dad's gonna pay me. Alright, that's fair. I can do that. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Okay. Quest added blood ties. Who is this Arifu? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Where is Rafu? Arafu is northwest of Megaton on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. What's left of the river? Also, I cannot pronounce Arafu or Araf... Something! 
the the town. No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Okay. Okay. Is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? That's probably a good idea. What? Apart from the wasteland critters, slaver raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Wow. Okay. Why? Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. If it means that much to me, you wouldn't be such a hey. snoppy, snappy little girl, would you, Miss West? It's not that kind of bar, stranger. Wow, yes it is. It's not that kind of bar, stranger. I think we've already agreed that it is. What is it? It's not that kind of bar. Oh my god! Stop! Look, hey there. Uh, hello? Looking for my dad? Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. It's hard to forget handsome men like that. Liam has that effect on people. Look, if you can give me more information or point... No, yeah, yeah. Give me more information? Nah. Enough with the tough chick routine. Does that even work? Tell me more now. That's yeah, silly. I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's going to help you. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. Why? Why do you hate people? Who, Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Ah. Why is Moriarty so hard on him? Why? Because he, because of the way he looks. Well, the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. But Gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know. Where did he come from? He don't talk about it much. But apparently, there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. He's mentioned his mother a couple of times. But other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. I don't like this Moriarty guy, though. Did he buy him as a slave, or did he free him? With Gob? <laughs> well, he's sweet, and, and I know that he'd like to. It's just, well... I don't want to sound shallow or anything. I mean, I'm a whore. My standards aren't exactly high. But there are places even I won't go. Johnnies that are squishier than me are one of them. Yeah, that's probably... yeah. You might sure actually... Thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? You might actually kill him if you do. Ah, uh, what were you saying about radio stations? Oh, I must have missed that. Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. Wow, oh, great. They're all dead. Probably. The word about town. Nah, yeah. If I, haven't we already heard about this? Let's ask again. You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault. Right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Three Dog seems like a good guy. Take care of yourself, hon. Bye. Hello, Ghoul. Hello. Hey, Smooth Skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Yeah, fuck, what are you? No. What? That's rude. Let me think about it for a moment, my good man. Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Uh, are you kidding me? Shut the hell up, cool. I'll beat you if I feel like it. What? Why would anyone ever say that? Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. 
I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Aww, I'm getting karma. Why would you be rude at him? I mean, it's not like he's choosing to be a walking corpse. A place called Underworld. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Can I just not kill that Moriarty guy? Anything for you, friend. Oh, I can actually just buy beer and stuff. Oh, and stim packs. I should probably get some of those, shouldn't I? Gets me increased charisma minus strength, or plus strength minus int. That's actually pretty funny. They all do the same thing, though, so... Oh, except for this one. Oh no, it just turned it around for some reason. Why? I don't know. It's cheap enough. I think I'll actually get one. Just, okay. Some stim packs are useful. But I don't have a lot of caps, so two stim packs. How many do I even have myself? Do I only have two? There's no way I only have two, right? I swear I had more left than that. Did I just... Yeah, I had eight, eight stim packs. I'm fine. I'll buy some beer, too. So then I can have super awesome charisma. Oh, no, don't cancel it. Accept it. See you soon, drunkie. Hi. Don't hit me. I wasn't going to. God. No, we're not going to steal from Gob. We're going to have a problem. Wow. I wasn't even doing anything. God. Where's this Moriarty guy? Is he upstairs? Is that why? Where is he in here? Check door. Hello? Moriarty's terminal. Locked. Average. Check door to Megaton? Nope. 50. And a cabinet, though. Let's lockpick. Apply torque with the screwdriver. Okay. Rotate the bobby pin. Force lock. When torque is applied, the closer the bobby pin is to the correct position or sweet spot, the more the lock will rotate before the bobby pin breaks. Only when the bobby pin is in the correct position will the lock rotate fully and open. You can also try to open lock by forcing it, but if you fail, the lock will be permanently broken and can only be opened with a key. Okay. So, torque is right. Rotate bobby pin instead. You know what? I'll just test it. No. Oh god. Oh, that's one down. Is it just... It doesn't even tell me partially. It doesn't... It... Is it supposed to tell me anything? Ah, okay. Moriarty's password. Shotgun shells. I've lost karma, but screw that. Can I see my karma anywhere? Oh no, I don't want to wait. Um. No. Where, where can I see that? Data, maybe? No. Stats, maybe? Charisma. <laughs> Luck. I'm so charismatic, though. No, I meant status. Stimpak limbs. Oh. Oh, it shows me things. Like, oh, okay. But does it tell me wh how nice I am? Does it tell me where my karma is? I'm sure it does somewhere. Quest completed. Ah, I am good, a Volt Martyr. It doesn't really... I guess it doesn't tell me what the points are, specifically. Corpses eaten. <laughs> okay. People mezzed? What does that even mean? I'm still, I'm still a good person for now. I can activate this now, though. 
enter the password, because I have a password, of course, so I don't need to crack it. Moriarty's property only. Motivational phrase of the month. When the chips are down, it means the Brahmin is empty. Jericho has been a bad boy. I heard all about him and Jenny Stahl. Tried to slip her some of the old gun barrel while she's yelling no. Wow! He's lucky the gun didn't go off, or that would have given the Stahl clan something to crap their... Wow. 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 Can we kill that guy? He thinks he's king of the hill walking around Megaton like he does all high and mighty. He tries to pull that shit with me and the Jenny incident goes public. Jericho. Who is this Jericho? We're going to find this Jericho. We're going to deal with that Jericho. Never trust a junkie. That's what I've learned trying to deal with this piece of work. He wanders in here higher than a bird in flight and tries to make it with Nova. She slapped him silly after he didn't want to pay. The good girl, I almost kicked him out myself. But he staggered out of here. That guy may just be the straw I need to break Andy's back. Oh, Andy. What did you do? This guy's a real piece of work, opening a fucking bar in my town. What a jackass. I swear he's up to something. I'm going to have to think of a way to reduce his business a little, for now at least. I still got my secret weapon. Nova. Best refreshment in town. Wow. You're actually a creep, so we we don't like Jericho. We like Andy. Leo is apparently a drug addict. We don't like Jericho and Moriarty. We need to remember those. That new Coca-Cola swilling prick, parading his little daughter Maggie around for all to see like a proud father. You're yeah, right. Fonder wondering the wasteland my left ass cheek. What? You may be hearing the rain right now. It's raining really badly outside. Oh! He's saying... It, the, okay, the guy said he found a daughter wondering, and this guy doesn't believe it. Okay. I bet old Billy fed Maggie's parents that buckshot sandwich himself, then added the little girl to his trophy collection in that shithole he calls a home. Better keep my eye on him. That's interesting. Remember that, too. Church thinks he's such a freaking badass. Everybody runs to him if they get a damn wood splinter, and he just laps up their caps like a drunk downing alcohol. If people only knew he used to be a medic for the slavers at Paradise Falls, they'd run his sorry ass right out of town. But I think I'll keep that little nugget tucked away for later use. Well, he's... I mean, at least he's helping, I guess. This town is rotten. Mr. Burke. This guy is a Class A weirdo. One day, I'm wiping down the bar, and the fucker comes from out of nowhere. I didn't even hear the door open. He tells me... He is here to wait for some sort of an opportunist to come through. That's the guy that tried to make me blow up the town. Whatever, as long as he pays for his drinks, he can stay here until that damn bomb explodes in the center of town for all I care. Yeah, about that. So, out of nowhere, James came back to Megaton. Since he stayed here before, he asked me where the hell he could get a lay of the land and find out what's going on in the world. I told him about Galaxy News Radio and the ruins of DC, and that guy, Three Dog? Then like that, he was gone again. Okay, so he's when... To find Sea Dog or Tree Dog, Sea Dog, whatever. I remember the first time he showed up almost twenty years ago. I never expected someone to actually want to or be able to get into a vault, but he must have had his reasons. He had his kid with him, some baby. I wouldn't shut the fuck up. Wow. Normally I would have kicked someone like that out of my place, but he had a way with words. Then, like that, he ducks into Vault 101, and he's gone for almost twenty years. Nice guy, I guess, but never spends enough caps. Don't like this guy. Jericho, deadbeat bastard. Apparently, yeah. Wait, I thought Doc Church was lapping up caps everywhere. Is he not paying them, though? Okay, so Jericho. Andy. I think it was Andy, at least. Was it? Oh, no. We like Andy. But Billy. Yeah, okay. Billy is shady. We don't like Jericho. We don't like Moriarty. Okay. We'll leave. You've lost karma. You lost karma. That's just a shack door. We don't really need to open that, do we? Looking for a drink? You've come to the right place. Not quite. Hey there. What's upstairs? Wait, you don't want to talk to me, do you? It's not that kind no. of bar, stranger. So then why are you even saying hello? I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Maybe I am. What of it? Shack door? Oh, that's just where people live. How are you? I mean, Been better. okay, interesting. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break in here yet. 
I'm only gonna break in with people that I don't like. And there are several. So maybe we'll find those. So what is it now? I don't like you. What is it I can do for you? I really don't like you. What do you do around here, Moriarty? I keep these yokels knee deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee deep in caps. It's a fair trade if you ask me. No? The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lass. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Excuse me? Have you read your own logs? Stay the fuck out of me business. Don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. I'm gonna buy my drinks from that other guy. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what? Of who? I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. Okay. I await our next meeting with bated breath. I don't doubt it. I dislike you, though. You should know that. So where's this other bar? This Andy guy. Door to Billy Creel's house. We don't hate Billy Creel. But where's Jericho's house? Now, we Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave all day. He already did that. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. Yeah, about that? How did this even start? Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. My pappy talked about how his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. The wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. Okay. And they built the walls for the raiders, or...? Well, the raiders, for one. Once the town got big enough, they'd wait until the traders and their guards were away. They'd come in and clean us out. Now, the super mutants. They were a whole other breed of problem. They'd kill us if they had to, but mostly they tried to drag people away, alive. So, eventually, my father did something about it. Him and a few others organized the traders and the citizens and built the walls. So we're pretty safe now. Still, I wish those Brotherhood of Steel fellers hadn't hit on such hard times. They really helped keep the wolves at bay. The Brotherhood of Steel? Can I ask about that? I can't. Why? I want to know more about them. Not at first. It was a collection of people trying to get into the vault, people worshipping the bomb, and a few other refugees. Then the traders came. Now the caravans take care of most of the trading, but before they were set up, it was all Megaton. I worked on the caravans with my father for a while. That's how I met that worthless bag of liver spots I call a husband. Do you hate your husband so much? Why don't you just leave the guy? I guess there's not much options here in this little town, unfortunately. No, space is limited these days. You see all of these people wandering around here? They live up in the common house and aren't really citizens. Most people around here keep one eye open around strangers, but me, I can spot a raider spy at a hundred meters. I'm not worried about it at all. But if having meetings and pretending to vote on things makes the others feel safer, so be it. Yeah, that's still going on today. You say so, honey. Like, in the world that isn't an apocalyptic wasteland. Who's in charge? Who is in charge? Well, technically, no one. But you can't put two people in a room together without one of them trying to govern the other. But it depends on who you ask. Lucas Sims appointed himself the sheriff. He throws anyone out who causes too much trouble. But Colin Moriarty runs just about everything else. Not much happens here that he doesn't know about. Or plan. 
I kind of want to kill the guy, though. Is that bad? Is that bad? Is that a bad thing? Yeah, yes, Gen Z, it's bad to want to kill people. Yes, but this is... I, I feel like this is a bad man. Then again, I guess he also kind of safeguards Lucy from Jericho or something? That man is the scum of the earth. He keeps the drunks around here soaking in liquor. And that poor Nova, that girl deserves better. And don't even get me started on how he treats Gob. Just because the boy looks dead doesn't mean that he should be treated like that. That man has his fingers in everything around here. Just watch what you say about him. It'll always get back. Not when I say it behind my computer screen, it doesn't. That man tries to bring law to this place. Lost cause, if you ask me. But I respect his trying. He does seem to keep people in line, though. Other than that weird cowboy thing of his, I don't have much to complain about. Hey, so he's the obvious good choice. All right, then. Anything else you wanted to know? Is anyone taking contracts or, like, giving out contracts to kill Moriarty? Well, you come on back any time you want to hear more. I think we can agree that when you're named Moriarty, you're just a bad guy. Send Nathan home if you see him. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'll have a think about it. Woman's restroom? No, I'm, I'm good. Where is this Jericho fella? He needs a good smacking in the face. Who and where? You? Are you Jericho? You looking to trade, stranger? Check out Crater Side Supply. You can see me eyeing it. Can you though? Can you though? No, you can't. See, I'm hidden. Are you gonna walk, turn around, and see me do it? Guess not, right? Lock the pick. You lost karma. I didn't? Why didn't I lose karma? That's empty. Of course it is. Oh, oh, I will take a pistol. You lost karma. Your karma! I will take Jericho's gun because I do not like that guy. That guy does terrible things to poor people. Take Rognak the Barbarian, yeah. I'm gonna take your teddy bear too. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll lose karma for that. How much karma am I losing here right now? I'm still good, so you know. I can deal. Why do you have two teddy bears? Okay, fine. You can no. You, you know what? You can't keep both, or one even. You can't keep anything. You are a horrible person. I'm gonna leave now. I think. Oh, I can take bobby pins. I need those. And whiskey. Oh, I'm gonna take all of your whiskey, actually. Yeah, you do not deter me from, from with losing karma. I don't care about that. Because you see, Jericho is a scumbag. Oh, we don't like scumbags. So there we are. Empty house. Why is that an empty house? Hello there. If you need to buy something, Moira up in Craterside Supply can help you. Watch out, though. She's different. I'm pretty different myself, so... I'm okay with that. Food. Oh. Are you that guy? Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? What's on the menu? Have a look. Most of it's edible. Some of it even tastes good. Wow. <laughs> Blanco mac and cheese. Dandy boy apples. Gets me HP back. But I guess it, it's also radiated? Is that what that means? Rats? Nuka cola's really expensive. Stimpak? Even more so, but there's no plus rads on it. Does it heal rads or does it cause rads? I bet it I bet it doesn't heal it. I can't buy stim packs from you because the other guy actually sells it with a discount, so there's no point. Hmm. 
Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. But what the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. I don't know, a purpose? Come back if you need something. The brass lantern. We shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Oh God! Your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away. And who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome, welcome to Megaton. I am Confessor Cromwell, prophet of Atom and father of the Undying Glow. Please, child, come to the church any time, any time at all. So I was trying to talk to him and receive on upon me, up unto me, a bunch of radiation. So you've been standing there for a while. You're still standing there. You are radiated to hell and back. Huh. Have you ever traveled outside of it? That's actually a good good question. In my youth, I traveled quite a bit, but that was a different life. I assume that you are seeking information and advice, yes? The only advice that I can offer is this. You will find no wealth in the wasteland greater than that which you will find within yourself. Bask in Atom's glow and you will understand. This guy has some serious issues. I'm going to go. You're worshipping a bomb. Walk in the glow. I'll walk in something, alright? Crazy person. So... Well... We started out in the bar. But there's no one here. Why is there no one here? I mean, I'm guessing... Someone wanted to... I guess it's not the bar. And every eye shall be blind. I will find the bar in our next life. Which is not today. To say. Everyone here is rude, basically. Armory, clinic, restaurant... Barely tells me anything, really. But I will find that other bar. I don't... I'm not gonna go to... Actually. Oh. I can't even do that. Uh, does that damage me? Children of Atom, which we are not going to, you're all crazy. You know what? Next time we're gonna go outside. We're gonna go outside next time. Actually, no, also I need to heal. I need to heal first. I think I can do that by... Um... Sleeping? I can do that by sleeping? I think I'm gonna go sleep. Okay, I won't talk to you because apparently everyone hates talking. Sorry. Crater supply. Tamper with that and we're going to have a problem. Oh shut up. Where is the place that I entered and then exited it again? Street way. There you are. I would like to sleep, please. Hello? Hey baby. What do you need? A bed. Well, for you, a room and some company will run you 120 caps, up front. I just want to sleep. Okay, then. Okay, I guess I can't sleep. It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. Well, then. I'm, I'm gonna go. Take care. I'll find, I'll find the clinic, I guess, instead, next time. We'll make a little cut here. I will find healing, eventually. Just fine. So, okay, if I remember the files right, this guy used to work for slavers. So we don't like him either, but we do need to be patched up. So... Yeah, I'm gonna get myself patched up. I'm surprised you made it in here. I can fix you up, but it'll run you 100 caps. What do you say? That's five med packs. 